guys, Bonnie at STEM Scopes here, um, and I am here with my four-year-old son, Harris, who is going to help me out with this lesson. So, for this lesson today, we are going to use K6B magnets. Um, I'm going to only do the first explore with him and then the song and then um, I'm going to let I'm going to send him on a little task. But I wanted to remind everybody that if you're, you're ever uncomfortable with any of the topics that we're covering, you can always go to this teacher background where we give you just a little bit of information. So if, if you're not 100% com confident with the science concept that you're covering, come here, check it out, do a little reading and get yourself more comfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in to our lesson. All right, Harris, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna do a little test today, Harris, okay? With, with that money. With, we're gonna use some tools and we're gonna use some items and we're gonna test them, okay? okay. Kind of like a little experiment. Oh, why? Just to see if, what they do, okay? So we're gonna use these papers to help us to sort them, okay? So we have two papers. This one, we're gonna use, we're gonna put things that stick to the magnet over here. Mom, the, Mom these are happy ones. Yeah, they're happy, huh? This one says yes, this one says no. So if they stick to the magnet, we're gonna put them over here. If they don't stick to the magnet, we're gonna put them over here, okay? So we need a tool to help us. What tool do you think we need? We need the spoon. Well, we're going to test the spoon, but today we're going to use a magnet. Okay, so I got this magnet just off of our fridge. Okay, so we're going to use this as our tool. Can you hold our tool? Okay, what are we going to do with things that stick to the magnet? Um, and put it on. Put it here. And what are we going to do with things that don't stick to the magnet? Um, 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 we take away from. We're going to put it here. Okay, let's try one. Okay, so these are the items we're going to test. I got these things just from around my house, okay? Um, I didn't worry about what was on the lesson. I just went and grabbed some things from around the house. Oops. Sorry, we're actually going to use that one. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this. Do you think this is going to stick to the magnet? You do? Okay, let's test it. Did it stick? No. No. It didn't stick to the magnet, so where do we put it? We put it here. Good job. We put the spoon there. This is our tool. We're not Mom, tool. Mommy, yeah. it sticks. Oh, it sticks to the counter a little bit. Okay, yeah. Put the spoon here because it didn't stick to the magnet. Okay? All right, hold your magnet. Let's test another one. Let's test this. Do you think this is going to stick to the magnet? Let's make a test. Let's make a easy first. Hold on. Before we test it, do you think it's going to stick or not stick? Um, it's going to stick. Okay, let's test it. Did it stick? It's stuck to the magnet? Yeah! Yep. All right, so where do we put it? I'm here! Very good. All right, let's do another one. How about this one? Do you think this one's going to stick? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Did it stick to the magnet? No. Yeah. Nope, so where do we put it? Right here. All right, let's hold the magnet. All right, let's do this one. A pen. Do you think a penny is going to stick to the magnet? Yeah. Does it stick? Yeah! Does that stick? It's not sticking. So because, where do we put it? Because it's, because it's money. Okay, good. All right, let's try this one. Do you think this one's going to stick to the magnet? Mommy, there's another money. You want to try the other money? Okay, let's try the other money. Okay, a quarter. Do you think this one's going to stick? Let's see. Did it stick? No. Man. Okay, so where do we put it? Right here. Good job. Okay, how about this? Some staples. 
Let's see if they stick to a magnet. Did they stick to the magnet? Yeah! All right, so where did those go? Right here. All right, put them right there. Because they're magnets. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Okay, how about this one? Do you think this one's going to stick? Yeah. All right, let's see. No, you put the magnet on. No, it didn't. No. It didn't stick. No. So where do we put it? Right here. Good job. All right, we have this little tack. Be careful with this one because it's kind of sharp on the end, okay? Here, let's see. Do you think this one's going to stick to the magnet? Yeah. Let's see. It did! It stuck. So where do you put it? Mom, well, because it's a magnifying. Cool. Let's put it right here. Yay! All right, how about this? Do you think it's going to stick to the magnet? Yeah. Let's see. No, it didn't. It didn't. So where do we put it? Right here. Good job. All right, how about a piece of paper? Mom, it's just like the mail. Yeah, just like mail. No, it didn't. It didn't stick. So where do we put it? Right here. All right, and our last one that we're going to test today, a spoon. Do you think this one's going to stick or no? Yeah. You think so? Why? Because it says... You think so? Okay, let's try. I did! It stuck? Yeah, it stuck! Okay, so where do we put it? On here. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at all of our stuff today. Okay? So we have all these things that stuck to a magnet and all these things that did not stick to a magnet. So we call these things, can I give you a special word to call these things? Mm -hmm. We call these magnetic. Can you say that word with me? Magnetic. Magnetic. And we call these things non-magnetic. Why? Because they are not magnetic. So it kind of sounds like not, doesn't it? Can Mom. you say non-magnetic? Mom, they're, 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 they're a little sticky. Oh, you thought it was a little bit? Okay. So we call these things what? No. Yes, try again. Okay. We call these things magnetic. Yes. And these things non-magnetic. Okay, do you want to listen to a little song about this? Yeah. Okay, give me one second. And if you want to make this a lesson a little bit trickier, you can find some items that maybe like scissors or something that are have both a magnetic piece and a non-magnetic piece and have that discussion about where they might put that on their sorting maps. But for today, we're going to go ahead and listen to our song. Hello. All right, buddy. Here's our song. I'm going to turn it off for you. What is this thing in front of me? I cannot really tell. It has no name or smell or taste. It does not ring a bell. What could I use to help me? There's no one here to ask. I'll get my trusty magnet out to help me with this task. North and north, south and south, my magnet pushes back. North and south, south and north, my magnet will attract. Because two opposite charges stick together, but two similar ones push back. I know from my magnet. I move my magnet up against this object with no name to see if it will push or pull it, just like in a game. And sure enough, the object is starting to go. I know it has some iron inside. My magnet tells me so. North and north, south and south, my magnet pushes back. North and south, south and north, my magnet will attract. Because two opposite charges stick together, but two similar ones push back. I know from my magnet. All right, Dad. 
So, what I'd like you to do, awesome, is you can take your zoom today, which was a what? What is it? Magnet? No, I can't change. Uh, 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 uh. We're going to take our magnet, and I want you to go around the house and see if you can find three more things that it sticks to. Find three more magnetic things. Can you do that? All right. All right, guys, that's all we're going to do today. Thank you for joining us for our magnet lesson. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>